Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at Cobalt's 6.5 inch 24 volt max brushless circular saw, model number KCS6524B. Now the B stands for bare tool as it does not come with a battery or charger. And we're going to go ahead and walk around the tool. I'll show you its features, then we'll go over my impressions, and then we'll talk about who's going to buy it. This unit has a 6.5 inch blade but has an impressive depth of cut of 2.44 inches. The brushless motor delivers 5400 RPMs and this unit can bevel up to 50 degrees. It's pretty light coming in at 6.73 pounds and it has a soft start motor and an electric brake that stops the blade when you let go of the trigger for an added safety feature. The LED on the unit illuminates your work area as you're cutting. On the front of the unit there is a scale where it shows the curve of the blade and then one inch to the right and then also three inches to the left. There is a knob here that's for an edge guide. Now I misplaced the edge guide so I can't show you here in this review but it's pretty simple. You put the flat bar of the edge guide into the uh, base plate of the unit and then lock down the knob. The, depending on where your edge guide is is going to determine the width of cut that you make. The knob right above it is to adjust the bevel. You simply loosen it and then push the saw to the right while maintaining the flat uh, base plate on your workpiece or your table. There is an indicator and scale on the left hand side of the unit. You can set it by that or if you have a line drawn on your material you can set that by eye. Once you get it set, simply tighten that knob back down. On the rear left hand side of the unit there is another lever. If you push up on that lever it will loosen the unit allowing you to raise and lower uh, the blade um, controlling the depth of cut. Once you get it set where you'd like you then can press it down and lock it into place. I should note that there's a scale on the back side of the uh, blade guard in between the handle and the blade guard right here. There is a little uh, black lever. It's not incredibly accurate or precise but it, did, it does give you a rough idea if you're simply just trying to cut through some material. On the right side of the unit is your standard uh, safety guard lever that allows you to push the safety guard out of the way or the blade guard if you need to do a plunge cut or something to where that blade guard might get in the way or if you want a little bit ease of entry uh, going into a cut you can move it up first and not have to worry about it uh, pushing through the cut. On the top of the unit there's rubber over mold from the back where your palm is all the way up to this auxiliary handle for your opposite hand. And then the trigger here is in a nice comfortable ergonomic position but there's a safety on top here. Now this safety has to be pressed left or right so if you're left or right handed it's very comfortable to use with your thumb. You press it left to right and then that allows the trigger to be pressed and the saw to start. When you pull the trigger the LED light will turn on and then also this saw is soft start so it will take a little bit of time to get up to full 5400 RPMs. It's not a bad thing, it just takes a little bit of time and it's a little bit different than some of the saws I've used in the past. In between the handle, kind of just lower to the auxiliary handle, there is a black brick or plastic uh, button. That is the blade lock. So once you find where the blade locks, you push that in and then using the Allen wrench that is uh, located on the left hand side of the unit, just left of the auxiliary handle, there's an onboard storage for the Allen wrench. You use that Allen wrench in combination with the blade lock to loosen and tighten uh, the fastener to um, tighten the blade on or loosen it and change it. The saw does come with a 24 tooth uh, alternating bevel thin curve blade. Now the blade states it's for framing and ripping. Um, I look at this blade as uh, a little bit of a rougher blade as far as you're not going to get a super precise cut as it is a thin curve. So you're going to get a little bit of deflection so keep that in mind uh, or go out and buy a aftermarket blade for the unit. If you look at the bottom end of the unit there is an LED here that's on the housing that does a, a pretty decent job of illuminating your cut line. Um, not the best, not the worst, but if it is in a low light situation it is better than nothing. Right when I got this unit I started cutting up some sheet goods for a couple projects, my outfeed table. If you'd like to check that video out click the link uh, in the description or the card in the corner. But I ripped a lot of sheet goods with this stuff um, and a couple 2x4s um, during that project. Now in the testing of this for this video uh, I ripped a variety of sheet goods and obviously dimensional lumber and things like that. Now the saw performed okay. Again it has a thin curve blade to help reduce the power consumption or the need um, or the power needs to get through some of those uh, cuts. Uh, for me this saw did exactly what I needed to do. It rough cut some material. Who's going to buy this unit? Somebody that is a DIYer, someone that uh, needs a cordless solution in the shop that may not use this every single day, maybe uh, once a week, once a month, something like that. 
The saw is very affordable. The batteries are very affordable. I put this saw into a, a very solid DIY category. Uh, it gets the job done. For me here in the shop, uh, this saw is going to be dedicated to rough ripping down um, sheet good material and dimensional lumber or even a little bit larger lumber that I need to uh, cut through, flip over, and then cut again. This saw is a six and a half inch saw. It uh, does get pretty decent amount of depth of cut with the six and a half inch, but you do get more with a seven and a quarter um, saw. So keep that in mind if you're out there um, buying. Obviously, if you're already invested in the 24 volt max line of cobalt tools, uh, this is a great solution if you're already invested in that battery platform. Let me know below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'll be happy to provide some feedback. Uh, follow us on social media as we do product updates, project updates, and exclusive social media giveaways. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.